So now that we've covered on-page optimization, we want to move on and focus on off-page optimization, and in particular, building powerful backlinks for your site. So if you remember in a previous lecture, I explained that Google sees a link to your site as a sort of vote of confidence, a vote of confidence that your content is great, that you're an authority on a particular subject, that you're a trusted entity in this space. And really, it's, it, Google takes all those links, they look at them, and they say, well, if everybody's linking to them, they must be great. And as a result, they rank you a lot higher in the search engine results. What's crucial to remember is that not all backlinks are created equal. And because we want to really focus on the most powerful quality backlinks, in this lecture, I wanted to talk a little bit about the types of links that really matter and at a high level, what are the strategies that you can use to get these? So now let's talk about the characteristics of powerful backlinks. And these are the links that really matter. So the first characteristic is that the link comes from web pages that are relevant to your niche. So Google's pretty smart at understanding the content of a web page and a website and what it's about. And what they really like to see is links from web pages that are relevant to your niche. So let's say, for example, you have a site that's about drones and you get a link from a site that's about something completely different like babies or cars. Well, Google's not going to give that as much as importance as if a link from another site that's related to drones and in the same area as you. Because obviously the site that's about drones is a better authority on determining if your content is good, if it's relevant, if it's better than anything else out there. And that's why they give more weight to a link from a relevant web page to the one to the niche that you're in. So the second characteristic of a powerful backlink is one that comes from a ranking web page. Obviously a vote that comes from somebody who's already got a lot of authority is a great indication that your content is good and this is why it's so important to try and target web pages that have authority that are in your niche and get links from them. Now the third characteristic of a powerful backlink is one that uses anchor text effectively. So we've spoken about anchor text before really that's just the text that the hyperlink is contained within. So here's an example. I've got click here, that's the anchor text. And then I've just got google.com, that's the link in there. So really the reason that anchor text is so important is because Google sees this as an indication of what your site is really about. So instead of just having uh, anchor text like click here, what we really wanna try and encourage is to have our keywords in the backlinks that people are linking back to our site. And that really gives Google a good indication of what our site is about. When they see that our sites say about drones and they see the anchor text that says drones, and obviously the rank is a lot higher. Now, it's very important to remember that to look natural, we don't want to have every backlink pointing to us saying drones. You want to mix it up, make it look natural, um, so you might have drones, you might have your brand name, you might sometimes have click here, you'll have synonyms for drones. Um, that looks natural and that's what Google wants to see, but it's just important to know about anchor text and then try and encourage it to use your brand name or keywords so you can rank for all of those terms. So the final characteristic of powerful backlinks are ones that are consistently being built. This looks organic to the search engines, like you're growing, that your business is getting better. So it's important not just to build a load of backlinks in one month and have none the next month. What's better really is to get a handful of backlinks every month and grow like that. That looks natural and that's what the search engines want to see. So really to sum it up, we want to focus on quality links. We don't want to focus on just low quality um, loads of links. Really what's effective is honing in and trying to get links that are following these characteristics. So now that we know the types of links that really matter, 
let's have a look at how do we get these links and you know earning them naturally is really the best way so you should view link building as really a byproduct of building something that's genuinely worth linking to whether it's your products your services the content that you produce or the opinions that you share with your industry and peers so this is this type of link is known as an editorial link and it's really where somebody places a link within the body of a content um, and it's it's kind of specifying a resource so I'm sure if you've ever written a blog post you've naturally linked off to something great you found or even if you've ever written an email and you've linked off to some great resource that you say to somebody you should check this out so it's really a, a form of citation on the web um, and it generally just indicates that the destination of the link is the original source of the, the data, the idea, the concept or this statement. So this is very natural. I'm sure you've done it yourself. And so this is the best type of way to get links. So the second way to get links is to do manual outreach. And literally this is actually emailing bloggers and webmasters and asking for links. Now I see this really as a supporting activity to the natural way of getting backlinks which really is creating something uh, really great that people naturally link to. But sometimes you need to develop the link opportunities, you need to draw their attention to your new content and you really want to maximize the links for your content campaigns. So this is not something that's kind of dodgy. I think if you really create a very good value proposition to, by explaining to them why the link target is so good and why creating links is in their best interest. So later on in the course, um, I'm going to show you a couple of strategies about how to do this in a very effective way that's beneficial for both you and the person linking to you. Okay, great. And that concludes this lecture. I know that was kind of high level stuff. Um, but I think it's really important to set the context of what we're really going after here because these are the uh, strategies that we're going to be pursuing in the next section, these type of strategies to build powerful backlinks from sites that are within our niche and on a consistent basis as well. So um, really important to take the time to lay that out and now let's move forward to some other clarifications in our link building introduction section.